OpenAI is expected to release a major AI model, possibly GPT-5, sometime in mid-2024, likely during the summer. The new model will likely be a multimodal large language model with similar capabilities to GPT-4, but better. OpenAI is still reportedly training the model, after which it will go through internal safety testing to identify any issues before public release. Other issues, besides those that may come up from testing, may delay the launch. Neuralink has shared a video of its brain-computer interface in action inside a human patient. The patient, a 29-year-old man named Nolan Arbaugh who is paralyzed from the neck down, is able to control a cursor on a screen using Neuralink's device. He is able to play games online for about eight hours before the implant needs to recharge. Arbaugh reports that his experience with the implant has so far been positive, despite some initial issues. The video is available in the article. Scientists from the University of Amsterdam claim they have successfully eliminated HIV from infected cells using CRISPR gene editing technology. The work remains a proof of concept and will not become a cure for the disease anytime soon. The study's findings are still being scrutinized. Several key developers at Stability AI, creators of the popular text-to-image generator Stable Diffusion, have resigned. Aging wreaks havoc across the body causing cells to struggle to perform functions they could previously do with ease. The field of aging has been debating how it works for decades. A new explanation for the phenomenon of aging called the information theory postulates that aging is mainly driven by the loss of epigenetic information, and that cells can be reprogrammed into behaving like their younger selves, by reverting them to their pluripotent states. While the theory offers a path to reversing aging, there are still many challenges to overcome before the technology can be used. Errors made while reprogramming cells can result in cancer and other major complications. GritQL is a declarative query language for searching and modifying source code. It uses Rust and query optimization to scale up to over 10 million line repositories. GritQL's built-in module system has over 200 standard patterns. It can be used to rewrite any target language, JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, JSON, Java, Terraform, Solidity, CSS, Markdown, YAML, Rust, Go, or SQL. In this interview, CEO of Quora Adam D'Angelo talks about how building infrastructure for creators can democratize AI. The interview covers how social networks are a complement to AI, multimodal and multimodal AI, bringing AI to the masses, AI infrastructure for creators, and much more. The video of the interview is available. NVIDIA's project GR-00T aims to create a general-purpose foundation model for humanoid robots to enable robots to learn skills and solve various tasks on the fly. All future versions of Redis will be released with source-available licenses starting with Redis 7.4. Redis will no longer be distributed under the three-clause Berkeley software distribution and will be instead dual-licensed under the Redis source available license and server-side public license. The new licenses enable Redis to sustainably provide permissive use of its source code, allowing it to continue to be freely available to developers, customers, and partners through Redis Community Edition as Redis moves on to its next phase of development as a real-time data platform with a unified set of clients, tools, and core product offerings. DocuSign's over 7,000 employees are mostly in sales. Around 24% of its workforce is in engineering, product development, and customer operations. The company's sales engineering split isn't that unusual. Even if a company is well-positioned in a space, its future and profits are always uncertain. Putting resources into new products or features just in case makes sense as the cost of being overtaken is very high. SpaceX aims to launch the next Starship as soon as early May. The U.S. Justice Department is preparing to sue Apple for violating antitrust law. PG Wire implements PostgreSQL Wire Protocol, and provides APIs for building Postgres-compatible access layers for data services. Determinism, which is when machines always pass through the same sequence of states to produce the same output when given a particular input, produces consistent and knowable results.